Paul, good to see you again. Here we are on the second year of the Sunlam Gage. How you been? Very good, Andili. It's really great to see you. I hope you're well as well. I know you won't be able to be there physically, but I'm pretty sure you got some opening thoughts before we get into the meat of this year's Sunlam Gage. Yeah, Andili, I'd really like to just welcome everybody to join the Sunlam Gage. As you said, it's our second round of this. And I think it's exciting because it's grown. There's more interest that's developed. We've started a conversation. And I think that uh, the last year being the first attempt at this was very successful. And I'm really looking forward to taking the conversations, picking up where we left off and taking them forward a little bit. Now we're here obviously to talk about transformation. Mm. That, that, that is what the Sunlam Gage is about. And everywhere I go and talk about the Sunlam Gage, whether I'm talking to transformation councils mm. or I'm talking to researchers or anybody who's participating, mm. they always go, oh, Sunlam are the sponsors. Mm. Sunlam are the partners. Let's talk about the Sunlam transformation journey. It's been a long journey for you guys. How's it been in recent times? Yeah, look, as you said yourself, it's a journey and it's not a short journey. This is not um, <laughs> Johannesburg to Bloemfontein. This is a very long journey. So for us, it's just about continuing to make progress. Um, and it isn't just about things that you measure in school cards. Yeah. It's a bigger cultural thing. But I think there have been some real highlights for us this year. Um, or in the, in the year past. The first thing is we've built South Africa's largest black owned asset manager. And, you know, asset managers at the end of the day are one of the most significant providers of capital to the economy. So actually by putting that decision making and, and empowering it uh, as we've done, I think really does talk to a commitment about, you know, what we're doing more broadly in the economy and that is actually being driven by yeah you know, an empowered business. So that was the one. The other very big focus at, at Sunlum is on what we call financial inclusion. In yeah. other words, how do you bring people into the net that yeah. have previously been excluded? And we've done a joint venture with MTN. Yeah. Because the truth is that the only practical and economic way that you can reach people at scale at the very bottom end of the pyramid is through the telephone, the mobile network so we've we've created a business um there are already 14 million um policies already already 14 million policies the average premium for rent right wow. so tiny and this this talks to bringing in um the bottom end of the pyramid at scale that's what, when we talk about transformation and actually you know financial inclusion that these are the things that really get us excited but i think the other you know biggest challenge for us in our business is talent and yeah. actually you know, making sure that we've got, um, you know, in 5, 10, 15, 20 years time, our talent that looks something like the demographics of the population yeah. and having the very best people. So that's, you know, the ongoing biggest focus for us, I would say, you touch, in, in, the, in the company. Absolutely. You touch on a very important part, which is actually something we'll be talking about mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. in the launch of this year's Salam Gage, which is the experience of people around transformation. Mm -hmm. Do I, as a black man, mm. black woman, mm. black young person, black person living mm. with a disability, mm. do I have access to economic opportunity? Do I have mm. access to financial services? Mm. Versus what the scorecards are writing, right? Mm. So we, you guys are in the financial services sector. Mm. You have a scorecard that gets mm. scored in a particular way. Mm. But I guess your responsibility is beyond the scorecard. It's also about how not only your customers feel, mm. but how your people feel. Exactly. And you know, I think that whether you like it or not, the scorecards are a form of social engineering. Yeah. But for us, actually, not that we're saying it's unimportant, but for us, the issue is what is our core business? And our core business is to provide financial services, to grow the pie. Um, and we can only do that by actually getting more people into the net yeah. and then having the right talent, skills, abilities inside the company to deliver to that. So actually for us, it's not something that we're trying to patch on the side. Yeah. Um, oh, there's a scorecard. Yeah. So we're not saying it's not important, but we're saying that's not the core. The core focus for us is how do we build this financial services cake to be bigger? Not everybody may agree with me, but I think if you look at why does South Africa have one of the best developed set of capital markets in the world, it's because of the life insurance industry. And actually, it shows that if you do it well, you create something that's a, you know sustainable of value. And that's what we're trying to do now for everybody, is if we can create more people who have access to financial services, who benefit from it, and also people who can serve them, actually 
we think that's actually a good thing for society, but it's also obviously great for us and our shareholders. Without spoiling the fun for everybody mm -hmm. that's out there waiting for the results of this year's Sundown Gauge, I know you've seen some of the highlights on what's mm -hmm. to come this year. Anything catch your attention? I think we've got about three times as many participants this year in the survey as last year. And I think even last year we had 3,000 yeah. odd, yeah. which is actually quite a decent sample size. So if it leads to you know more conversations and stimulating more interest in the subject, then that's great. Thank you very much, Paul, for joining me. I truly appreciate every conversation we have. And thank you once again for continuing to be our partner on the Salam Gage. No, indeed, thanks very much. And thanks very much again for being our partner and the host. Um, it's really much appreciated. I wonder if you would give us a couple of minutes just to show you a short visual journey of what Sunlam has been doing in the communities in which we operate. So to give you a sense, just so that you can see some of the work that we've been doing. Africa, the big continent known for the big five, big dreams and an even bigger heart it's a big world out there which is why we're using big ideas to make the biggest difference to unify our continent we're the biggest insurance and asset management group on the african continent absolutely Paul. we're driven by a big purpose we want to make a big impact in the lives of all Africans, helping them achieve their big dreams. Which is why we've invested more than a trillion rand growing and developing the communities right across the continent with the purpose of creating generational prosperity. It's why Sunlam believes in making big investments that make the biggest change. It's long-standing partnerships like this that has empowered more than a million Africans. Because wisdom is only useful when it's shared with everyone. More than 70,000 learners benefited from the Blue Ladder Schools program. So Sunlam have opened their arms as wide as they can to expand financial inclusivity. 77,000 beneficiaries reached through the Consumer Financial Education program. They know no one is ever too small to make a big difference if we are all given the right opportunity. Job creation through a 2.25 billion rand commitment to see the investor's legacy range. So Sunlam is making sure there are big opportunities for big partnerships. Which is why they're taking massive steps to help all of us break through to the big time. Close to 160 million rand invested in enterprise and supply development. It's little wonder Sunlam is taking such a big amount in the renewable future of Africa. Almost 24.5 billion rand allocated to renewable energy, water, sanitation and oceans infrastructure. Because Sunlam believes in growing confidence in the greatness of our land and its biggest untapped resource, all its people. Over 2.8 million people reached through Sunlam's Consumer Financial Education Awareness Initiatives. There for you through the big challenges and big changes. With a big investment of over 5 billion rand to support our clients and communities during COVID-19. Well done, Sunlam, for being awarded the top employee certification in South Africa for the seventh consecutive year. Building the lives Sunlam believes every African deserves. 593 million rand invested in public benefit activities by the Sunlam Foundation. In making all Africans' biggest dreams come true, to live the life they've always wanted. And that's a big deal.